Uh, the gaming rig that we've we've set up here war, was just intended to be a, a as I said, a showcase of our um, of, of what we could do with Linux and a, a rather kind of um, flippant example of, of the kind of kind of activities that we we uh, we uh, use for our to put together our hosting systems. Um, the basically, I I started out with a single Ubuntu system, a single uh, Hardy um, system, just put the CD in and, and, and installed it, and um, I mean, the key to it all really is, is Wine, the uh, the Windows, um, uh, the, the, the program that lets you run Windows binaries on, on Linux, um, which uh, for the last few years has, has been able to run 3D games very, very competently. Um, and what we, after off we put the initial the initial system together and proved that the game, the game would work, um, we drew up the plan to... Um, but basically, because we wanted the system to be as reliable as possible, then all the all the client machines that the um, that the punters are playing on are diskless, and they boot off of a single the, the the single server. So we've actually got two system images, but they're both on the server. The server boots boots up itself and runs all the software needed to boot the clients. And then when you turn the clients on, their uh, their BIOSes go. Um, Run a, a network boot protocol, which lets the server take control of them and, and, and boot them up um, into straight into the game via uh, various boot scripts. Um, the hardest part about it is probably the um, uh, because it's a, a Windows, a, a game written for Windows, and with with a certain amount of uh, copy protection built into it, um, it needs a, a live internet connection. Uh, in order to uh, to basically to check your account credentials and uh, to, to see which games you're allowed to play, because we um, you know we want we just wanted to play this one this one game for two days, Team Fortress 2, uh, which we've all been um, busy practicing at. Um, and uh, the, the the guys at Valve Valve Software, who are the, the authors of the game, were very uh, uh, I, I have got, found one contact who was very, very happy to give us uh, a bunch of licenses just for two days, um, which we we baked into the system, we baked into the way it boots, so that each system gets a, a license dished out to it, which it can can run the game from. And um, sub, it, it, it's one of these things about you know systems written by uh, non-gaming systems written by games programmers that uh, the um, certain aspects of it tend to be rather rather flaky uh, when it comes to networking and. Um, uh, the, the, the game would start, you know, it probably starts about 80% of the time from from a cold start, which is good enough. It means like out of 16 systems that we set up, then you know, 12 or 13 would um, uh, would would pop up straight, you know, as I expected, straight into the game. Uh, but occasionally they need, you know, control or delete, and you know, just we'd start the whole thing again. But because they're diskless, it's not an issue. You know, there's nothing there's nothing broken. You just have another go. Um, I think it's something to do with network latency over our crummy mobile phone connection that we uh, that we set up. Um, and and the, the the biggest the only problem we've had uh, is is that really that occasionally a client machine I, th I think we actually bought some cheap PS2 cables so the keyboard and mouse sometimes just seize up. Um, although that seems to stop happening mid afternoon so I don't know maybe we just jam them in a bit harder. Um, and we've had to reboot the old machine, but the game itself hasn't stopped. The, 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 we haven't had a complete freeze that, that stopped everyone from playing, which was my, my big fear. 